Hello, and it's me, I'm back. Can't believe it. I appear to have audio working. That's a good sign. If only I could hear the game right now, that'd be awesome as well. Well, this is me, Mon PJC. You can't see me on the screen right now because I've got this big brown Minecraft window up. <laughs> Which doesn't really say a lot of anything, does it? And we are starting brand new. <clears throat> and we're going to start because yesterday the pre-release for 1.15 Minecraft has come out. So we're here to play this. And we are going to use this seed here. So I'm just going to pop this seed in here like that. And we're going to name this Steamcraft. Because this is going to be our brand new world that we're going to be playing in. It's a survival world. You will see that I've got cheats turned on because we need to be able to work and do stuff. And modify the game as we go along at some point. We're going to be moving this onto a server. So let's create Steamcraft. I've been spending some time trying to find a seed that would look good for this. So I'm not sure what's going to come up. I'm hoping this is going to look good. Ooh, we're in a tiger biome. Well, it's not too bad. It's not bad looking. So I'm just going to turn my phone off. I have a cup of coffee here ready to go I'm hoping everyone can see this on stream okay I hope my sound levels are also good but I will only find out when people tell me later on I guess so let's give this a go shall we here we are and that's the back of my head this is me Hello, I am the one and only Mon. Have you noticed my body does a little wiggle? Look at that. I am the one and only Mon PJC. And I am here in a world. Oh, look at that. What is that we see over there? I don't have Optifine. I don't have resource packs or mods or anything and this is going to be all like really scary because I'm, I'm used to having all those things turned on and it's my resolution oh I did an achievement taking input oh I didn't get an achievement for that what was going on there um let's have a look oh yeah that's back to 80 is that where I normally have it I think it is sounds and music they're all okay uh yeah okay Okay, okay, back to the game, back to the, where's my, where's my achievements? There's nothing here. Okay. I thought opening your inventory got you your first achievement. Well, that's pants, isn't it? Look. Oh yeah, bees. There's going to be bees everywhere somewhere. So that is ice spikes. That is a lot of sand. This is a lot of trees. This could be a good start. I've collected nothing yet. There could be dogs around here, which could be quite useful because they're going to be like my friends and everything. Uh, we've got some water. Okay, okay. Let's see another little cave over there. What's my render distance set to? I'm just going to look at some of the settings here. Cause up to 29 chunks, that's cool. I have this set quite high so that we get lots of stuff in the distance so you get that sort of like cloudy bit looks pretty looks pretty oh look at this now that looks nice look at that that's we've got like proper warm ocean we've got this we've got ice we've got sand over there this is going to be a good world i'm 
try not to break anything yet. Oh, sugar cane over there. A sheep. Kelp. Kelp for furnaces and stuff. That's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, this is looking very, very good. The sun is rising. Which means the sun is also going to set soon. So... Uh, we need to get cracking on here with uh, uh, some fishy. Uh, stop looking around, Mon, and actually get on with stuff here. Right, we need to decide where we're going to live. So we've got this little outcrop here of land, which is pretty cool. And I think this might be where we start. So uh, this little tree here is going to be our start. There we go. First block. And we're going to see if we can follow our way through all the achievements as well. So if you're not familiar with achievements... Ooh, sticks. Oh, look. New recipes. Game is growing around me as I speak. This is a very exciting time. To be... Plucking leaves out the trees and hoping for a sapling. Nothing. Okay, I wanted to replant the tree. Okay, I'm not. Um, this is where I'm going to live, right here. Oh, I did get some saplings. Yeah, so I have like the little enchanting book here. And if we go into achievements... What do you mean I have no achievements? Why did I not have achievements? I should have ach achievements. That's weird. Can I actually do things like... Yeah, I can actually do all my game mode things. Uh, achievements. Uh, can I revoke them all? Can I, like, clear all my achievements? Everything. Let's have a look now. No, I think that's broken. Has somebody broken the achievements? Well, that's not good, is it? Right, okay. Um, let's crack on here. I don't like that one. I only like that one. Um, I make a crafting bench. It's telling me I've got new things unlocked. But that's not helpful. Uh, right, so we already got some sticks. And... I want to make one of these and one of them to make one of them to make that to do that because I'm going to make, make a hole now because I want to live <clears throat> I don't want to actually live underground but I'm going to have to to start with so we're just going to I'm just going to by my bare hands I'm going to rip the earth from the ground there we go we'll get in there I'm in, the, I'm in the hole. Actually, have I actually told anyone on Discord that I'm actually online? Is my game actually telling anyone? It is. That's useful. I, I'm going to be like shameless. I'm going to like spam people everywhere. Somewhere. Where's the whole shameless promos? There we go. I don't care. I am live. And I'm going to tell everyone. Because these these other people they're not they're not streaming and I should be. There we go. Get, let's get this out there, people. Uh, there's one other place I want to stream as well. Tell everyone I might get somebody. Who knows? Bot commands. There we go. Uh, we do it here, don't we? And then I put my link there that and then I go back like that there we go I have a told the people I am out there in the world Look, meantime you're just staring at that weren't you oh my god it's gonna get dark soon all right uh this hole's big enough I think uh or should I go down I can go down one more stone age I actually got achievements in my thing now. 
Yay, there we go. Uh, right, so we started, we made Stone Age, and now we've got to get an upgrade. Right. So I'm going to build the classic Minecraft Hobbit Hole, which is where we normally start the game. I just dig in this little hole like this. And just breaking some soil up like that. And I want my crafting bench back, please. I'm really not going to be making wooden tools. I'll make some stoned ones because they're going to. I'm going to need those for a while. I'm sort of hoping that there won't be too many mobs around here as well. So this is going to be my foyer. And I think from what I remember of the landscape out there, this way is probably the best way to start digging a bit bigger room. And I have enough stone. My voice is cracking. I'm too excited. I'm digging too quick. There we go. I don't care now. Look, I'm just doing stuff. Um, crafting bench. There, like that. And two logs make wood and chest wait where is that why they know chest i know how to make a chest make a chest like this and furnace thing what furnace need more trees not enough wood um okay two of them three of them there we go we have stone pickaxe we are like cavemen. These big trees, I'm never going to reach to the top of them, am I? So I'm going to pick out these uh, smaller trees. Look at that, that's going a bit quicker. Looks like we might be using quite a bit of spruce in the area. There we go, come on. Let's get this going. Come on, little mon PJC, you don't have long. Look, the sun's setting already. Eek! Right, let's get down here. Um, right. Uh, first thing, I need log. I need chuck axe in. Pickaxe. I need stone. I'm going to half that. I'm going to use that to make... Ah, charcoal. There we go. First piece of charcoal. Right. Doors need door for protection from mobs because scary mobs will be coming now there we go i can't see if it's day or night out there now day or night um that is there that in there that in there that in there and i oh, know i want that like that that i want to keep um why did i not make a pick why did i burn my pickaxe before i needed it that was stupid, wasn't it? Okay, let's make some torches. Torches go in that one there. And we will put a torch there. So it's not so dark in here. And one there like that. That's cool. Right, now I've got to make... I can't believe I've got to do this. I've got to make more... Another one of them. Because I was so stupid. And that I didn't... forgot. I didn't have the stone to make it because I'm silly glad no one's watching right now um, right so where are we going to dig down we're going to put a bed there eventually we've got a bit of storage right we're going down this way right we'll start there so now I've made that really expensive wooden pickaxe time for upgrade Boom, upgrade, achieved, achievements, ding. Now we've got to get uh, smelt and iron ingot. Right, okay, that's my next challenge. Okay, I have some more coal there, that's cool. Right, we can um, have a good stick, a good stick. I take coal, I leave one coal there because I'm bound to like do something stupid like use them all. 
that's cool. Right, uh, let's put all that in there. Got pickaxe, got that. Let's get rid of that for now. Right, let's go. Here we go, down we go. It's currently night time out there, so I've got a little bit of time to start exploring. People are now in chat going, you're making a really terrible staircase. Well, they would do, but there's no one actually in chat, so I'm fine. Welcome to 115. Have you noticed the massive changes in the updates to the game so far? I've noticed some. Have you spotted them? I've seen them. Don't know what you're talking about. Shall I go around in a circle? Oh, I might go around in a circle. New recipe. If I dig this down this way, like this, then what I might do is then go down this way. If I go out this way, it'll put me out under the ocean eventually, which means there'll be more mobs down the bottom under the ocean. Oh, look at that coal. That's what we need. Nice. That's a good start. Nice big vein of coal gets going. All that trees out there, that now means we have a really good supply of torches and fuel to smelt iron and everything else. Some andesite here, it's a nice material. So this might now turn into a little, yeah, new recipes. This might now turn into a little sub corner base, like so. I'm gonna take that out of there. I'm gonna put that there and that there. So this will be like a little relay post on the way down. So I can always start building a bigger base down underground if I want to. I've just got that like that little entrance up there. We're now listening for the sounds of any mobs or anything out there. Just to see if we can find anyone. If they spot me. This is going out under the ocean now. things a little bit more entertaining. This is going down a long way. Right, which, how deep down am I? I am 35, so I should be getting iron and potentially gold now as well at this level. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Right, let's go up here and yeah, because if I make this into a little area I can work in, then it saves me having to come all the way back up to the top here. That sounds like a mob. So, cobble, stone, gonna keep hold of some of this. Um, let's grab those pieces of charcoal and those and 4, 8, 16, 24 sticks will do, thank you very much. Oh, 16 sticks, I can't count. Sort of where I wanted to be anyway. And we'll make two more of these because we're going to get through them quite quickly, probably. And I will make myself some more sticks and I'm going to make a sword. That's going to be useful. Do I get time strike thing? Yeah, no. Okay. 
Um, I think I'm going to get that with the gold one. Can't remember. 20 minutes. Uh, should be coming up to sunny outside now. I think that's all I need to get started with. Nope, still dark. Not going out there yet. Right. Let's go down. So we'll make this into like a little entrance and we'll make this into like a little storage or room or something down there. I don't want to go down a massive long way. I'm pretty certain at this level I'm at Y32. So I should be getting loads of iron and coal and gold at this level. I'm not worried about finding diamonds and redstones yet, but this will do to start with. So I'm going to do a similar sort of thing. I'm going to make a little, a little stopping point. Ah, oh, look at that. There we go. There's the iron. And we will start making some branch mines from here. But first, we will get this. There we go, next achievement coming up. Right, that's got that. Right, so if I haven't got any wood to do any of that other stuff yet that I was thinking of then. Um, right, let's mine out this. So I'm gonna go, I'm going to go in blocks of three, which will make sense for branch mining. So I'm going to go and I could branch mine back on myself, which goes back under that bit. So I'm going to go nine, twelve. So it's three, four, five. This does make sense. Six. reason I'm doing it as an odd number is that um, lines up with doing the what you call it the branch mining I really shouldn't be doing this with a pickaxe there we go I don't know what I'm going to need all that earth for but it's going to come in useful and we're going to build a little uh, area here I'm interested to see if there's any other changes that we get now we're playing in 115 like get some really early stuff the texture packs quite nice though I'm quite pleased that the new texture packs in the way it is so I could always stick a little furnace in here so that's there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna branch out from here what I could do is it being daylight outside so that we can go and get some more wood gravel. So we're just going to torch this up a bit. Um, let's go and make a shovel because uh, it's going to be very... Te oh, I'm just going to do it with this. Oh look, what's the time? It should. Let's see if we can get some of that wood now. Let's have another quick look at the achievements. See we've got to get this iron melted down so we can do that while we're going to find some more wood to cut down from the trees and I might even make these into stairs in a minute because it's just really annoying bumping all the way up and down these like that so we've got six of these so one of them and six of them there we go that's a really good start and I was going to make a shovel. There we go. That makes a shovel there for me. Getting through those. Is it day daytime out there now? Right. And we're also going to need some food as well. Can I get out the door? Right, 
There we go. Quick scan round behind me, just make sure a creeper hasn't come in there. And I'm going to put some torches up high on here. So I actually find my way back if I'm out in the dark. And I'm going to slowly clear these trees off the front here. So I'm hoping I might be able to reach the top of this one. I have to do a bit of jumping. Come on, get up there. Oh no, this is so slow and painful. I got the last top one. That's cool. Right. Uh, let's see if we can demolish these while we're here as well. This will give us a nice little bit of clear land and we'll be able to see what we're working with here. As to where our new base is going to be. part of the game can be I think people can get quite bored with it but I think there's also like this opportunity to sort of like get into the game and get like going really quickly and new ideas of what you can do what we could be building how we're going to develop this and how we're starting literally from completely empty world where anything is possible I think that's really cool just like possibilities loads and loads of possibilities and just like collect loads of materials as we go around here that's cleared out oh, most of those trees and given us loads of space to start maybe flattening this land and building some stuff with it. So that should be good. Right, now, food. I think we can eat kelp, can't we? If I remember rightly. So that will grow on its own out here. There is sheep. I mean, sheep's not exactly a renewable food source for me. But there is a lot of this. So I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to like muller some of this and keep an eye on my bubbles. Collected like 31. Let's see if I can get a stack of this stuff. I think when it's like this, you can't eat it, but I think if you cook it, you can. I need a little boat out here, and I can like swim around on the surface and collect stuff. There we go. That's got like 50. swim there we go there's loads of it over here do the whole like swimming underwater thing pick some of this up I'm gonna oh, try not to drown and I'm going to dive down here and have a look. Oh, there's some pickles. Oh, that would be good. That's a good way of getting lighting. Some 
some sea pickles, we've got lots of coral. Got to get my air levels back up before I dive back under, and there we go. Are there any like little hidden chests or anything about over here? Looks like there's a cave under there. There's quite a lot of this here as well. Yep. Oh, look at that. That could be fun down there. Big ravines here. She looks like loads of caves. Look at this. This is cool. Yep, this could all be very cool. Right. We need to get back over there before the sun goes down and see if we can do something with this food that we've been collecting. You can actually swim quicker underwater like this. Just really cool if you could actually just like gasp air and then like carry on swimming really quickly. So we've got some gravel over here which is going to be useful in a bit. Lots and lots and lots of sand. Might be worth doing some fishing out here as well. That could be a really, really good renewable source if we can find some string. Grab all these bits and pieces because resources are a bit low at the beginning and I can always use these as a fuel source as well okay so is there anything else I can see is that over there I can't really see much in the way of grass I'm really gonna have to rely on kelp at the moment as a food source there was that sheep that I saw, but we're going to need more than one sheep if we like want to like start a little farm. So even though this is like quite a nice area, it could actually be a little bit challenging on the whole food side of things to start with. So it looks like we might be eating a lot of kelp. This is why we have the torches here, so we can find our way back down. Okay, right, here we go. So, first of all, there's our achievement for getting our iron. There we go. So, the next things we can do is we can suit up, we can get a bucket of hot lava, and we can make a isn't it iron pick. We get to the iron upgrade so we can do that one really easily we should be able to because we've just collected a load of sticks out there as well which is one of the advantages there we go that's got that one done as well and we can get into diamonds and enchanting ice bucket challenge form and mine a block of obsidian so we've got a few little achievements there we can get going with so now what we need to do is how much more coal have i got let's have four of these for now and we're going to smelt this up because i think this is a half decent food source that we can use i haven't got much in the way of wood there um let's just stack this stuff away I'm going to stack up. I'm going to use these uh, stone pickups, pickaxes first. I don't know whether to make an iron. I might make an iron sword actually. Even though I've got the stone one, and it's a lot of iron to use. It's it's just going to make such a difference. And I'm going to keep that as a spare in here with that one, just in case I do run out of materials. There. I don't know why 
that went away again, didn't it? So this stuff, you can actually make this into a fuel block as well. So you can actually eat this, although I can't eat it at the moment because I'm not hungry. But that's a good start. So it's dark out there again now. So we need to crack on with this mining down here. Now what I was actually going to do is going to start making a little resource centre for myself down there, wasn't I? So let's take this wood and some sticks and we don't really need to take any more stone with us, do we? No, nope, that'll do. Right. So let's head down to where we're going to do our strip mining. It would have been it'd be nice if each version there were different materials and stuff added into the game. But I think we're like a bit picky when we had like ask for so much, aren't we, all the time? So I could have brought down the crafting bench, but I'm gonna want one down here anyway. So that doesn't bother me. Then four of them will make me two chests. And of course I'll put that in the one place where I can't open it. Wanted this roof a bit wider anyway. I don't like having the roof too low down. There we go. So we've got somewhere we can do stuff. I'm not gonna put the coal in there yeah, I'm not gonna put the coal in there yet, because that's a uh, bit of a risky thing to do is just start losing everything okay it's time to have a, a sip of the coffee or drink my coffee that's better ah right Let's get at this. Right, then we'll get some sh flint out of this as well. Now, uh, two. Well, we're not exposing anything yet, are we? So I'll go back a reasonable way. That's what we're looking for. Thank you very much. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of iron, please. We need to get suited up before we go down into the dark. One, two, three, four. Sort of know in my head that about every six blocks is a decent place to put a torch. It keeps the light levels nice and high. And we've got some coal as well. I actually quite enjoy the early part of the game. It's a good way. You get lots of achievements really quickly. Hey there. Welcome into chat. Nice to see you again too. It's been some time. I've also been quite some time since I've done a stream. How are you? What have you been up to? It's always nice to get someone come back in the chat and come back and see you again. Stick a torch there. <laughs> hey Meg! How are you? And yeah, you spammed my name going mon 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 mon. Uh, that's way too excitable. Yes, my my uh, my chatbot thing is a little bit overloaded and way too excitable. So I'm not working today. Uh, I've got the day off from work today. Because I only work like three or four days a week now. Which is crazy. Yeah, you can't see it. I can see it because I'm uh, in my mod chat. Uh, it shows me what people will actually type. So if they, if I get any profanities, as they call it, I can tell people off 
for not for swearing and doing rude words because you know can't have rude words it's, that's just rude uh yep so i'm working three or four days a week it's pants because i'm on minimum wage and anyone who lives in the uk knows that minimum wage well let's just say it's pants it's like i don't know what that is in us dollars or like australian dollars but i basically get uh, eight pound an hour which would just about buy me a coffee and uh something at starbucks it's not really very much no it's not very much and it's uh, certainly when i'm well my contract is up to 20 hours a week <clears throat> and i've been but a minimum of eight so if i do I only actually get like eight hours in a week that's even worse that's proper pants 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 i mean i can't even buy a decent pair of pants with eight pound an hour not fit my butt anyway um anyway how are you meg it must be really late there right now eight pounds is 15 australian dollars yeah your minimum wage is 19 dollars really nearly no npm oh okay it's not quite so bad there then it's not massively late i'm just sorry i just left you staring at the brick wall there i'm such a professional streamer you also notice there's no face cam you know because my face is you know not pretty it's not like yours meg plus i haven't done my hair <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You do have a higher cost of living. You're not sure. Where is my face? It's on my head. Look, right here on the front of my head. Where's your face? <laughs> I think if somebody hits the like the follow button, you get my new little thing come up. I'm not sure. What the heck is that? Why is there a pole running? Hang on a minute. Hang, hang on a minute. There's not supposed to be a pole still running in the game because that that finished like ages ago. Uh, this is what happens when Mon doesn't look at what he's doing. Unfollows, then follows again. Ha 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 ha, thanks. Um, polls. Uh, let's close that poll. Thanks very much. Yeah, the subscription everyone said was we should be playing Minecraft. And he got three votes. Oh, it was pants, wasn't it? Thanks everyone for watching. Vote yet yeah, too late for the vote. Too late. Too late. Somebody did try to follow and unfollow. Actually, I don't know if you can actually see these. Oh, nope, that's the wrong button. There we go. Do you, do you see this? Can you see that? Can you see that come up on the screen? What about this? Look, I'm following it myself. Look, there's a picture of me with Halo. There we go. I just did my uh, like test thingy, what's it? Majiggy, doobery, whatever. I know what I'm talking about. Where are I? Where's all my subs? I need more subs. Anyway, where was I going? I was digging a hole. So, you guys. This is 1.15. Look, can you see how that looks like 1.15? And this is 1.14.4, that block there. And this one's 1. No, I'm, I'm kidding with you. Um, yep, so I started a brand new world in 1.15 pre-release 1, which came out yesterday. And this is going to be my brand new world. And I'm going to build everything from it. Yes, it's the the, the, the Wacker Bee game. We're going to be like killing bees and... Well, we're not going to be killing bees. We're going to be like harvesting their hard-earned honey so that we can make honey blocks slide past slime blocks. 
you know, because there's nothing weird about this game at all. Have you seen the size of the bees? They're huge. They're like humongous. I'm really not finding much iron here. So, uh, I hear you're going to be streaming today, Meg. Is that what I saw? Who the hell made this hole like that? Look at that. That's a mess. Yeah, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Come on. Commitment. I'll raid you with my two viewers, if you want. One of them is you. <laughs> oh, dear. I love this game. How on earth do you guys get more <laughs> people to follow? I'm trying to get to 50 followers. I think I'm entertaining. I think I'm funny. Halo says I'm funny all the time. I, I, she says I'm special as well. Sometimes I don't think it's in the way she... I, I think she means it. But there we go. Um, I'm special. My mum said so. You're a woman. I know that, Meg. I've seen you on stream. I, I don't know what that... It will be late, haha. Ha, like after 9.30pm. Hells yeah. Okay. Um, oh, look at this. Iron pickaxe goes a lot quicker. The upgrades are so fast. Yeah, I tell people to follow me all the time. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I've seen some of the other streams that are on, and I noticed that a lot of them like get like this, the girls on stream, and there's a lot of of, of this as well. Hi, hi. Would you please follow my stream? Hi, I love you so much. I would love you, love you, love you so much if you follow me on my stream. Yeah. My Minecraft character does not have boobs, so I can't do that. I, I can't use my Minecrafty worldly goods to get more followers. I am what I am. I am a man with a pickaxe, and that's it. I'm looking for honest followers. <laughs> oh dear. It's not fair that you're you're saying that I'm not getting followers because I'm a bloke. Isn't that sexist? While I'm just like oh, I'm playing on again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is sexist, unfortunately. I mean, you've only got to play some of the computer games and stuff to see the um, the the shapes of the women in these games, and they're like. There is nobody like that in the real world. They don't exist. Where is all the iron? How did I get into a conversation about what women wear in computer games? I'm playing Minecraft. I think it's unfair. But then, uh, I'm a little bit strange in that respect. As in, well, everyone knows I'm strange anyway. But... I, what is it? it it's um, Myers-Briggs. Anyone aware of Myers-Briggs in chat? Make it sound like a professional streamer. Hi, chat. Anyone know of Mariah's, Mar Mariah? Not Mariah. Myers-Briggs. It's a way of like a psychology tool. And what it does is it works out your personality type. And there are a total of 16 personality types. If you actually go on the internet and Google 16 personalities, you'll actually come up with loads of like free examples of where you can do the tests. And I'm a an INFJ, I believe, is the letters that assign my type. One, two, three, four, five, six, that about there do. And that makes me I can't remember the the like the word that describes it not stupid um, or special well actually special I'm in a group of personality types where there is only 1% of people in the world which are the same personality type as myself 
and we tend to like striving for equality and fairness in everything we do which is is a really nice thing i, I wish everyone was like that um we don't believe in people being sexist or racist we believe everyone should be given equal um amounts be treated equally and fairly and we actually go out of our way to try and make sure that happens i've actually done quite a bit of that where uh, i do sort of like mentoring and coaching and sort of try and encourage people to sort of uh, get on and do more with their life and stuff and not allow stereotypes to conflict them However, the problem is, is that I have sort of this idealist world. <laughs> yeah, but like 1% of the world population is like 70 million or something. Yeah, I mean, there are a few of us. I'm not saying there isn't. Um, we're just not that outspoken, probably, because we're all like too fair with everyone. I do like Australians. They're, they're lovely. They're great when they're... 10,000 miles away um, <laughs> I just couldn't eat a whole one um, no Australians are lovely people I have people friends on the internet who are Australians I have people friends from all over the world because I don't really care about that sort of thing and I think everyone should be fair and equal and I'm just too idealistic about it and that means I end up in loads of conflict with myself and getting stressed and frustrated with people because they don't think the same way I do which is which is sad I wish the world was fair and everyone was nice to each other but unfortunately that's not the case is it there's always people out there to get what they can get so, it's one of the things I like about Minecraft, actually. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty fair levelling type game. Don't you think? I'm trying to reach out the time says, right, just not, not good on a Friday. What's wrong with Fridays? Do you not like weekends? What's wrong with a weekend? I like Fridays. Although I now have a pants retail job, so I don't know what... I'm not going to say it's not pants I love my job just in case they're listening which they're not because they're all at work and I'm not um, my iron pickaxe is going to break I now have to work on weekends at times so like I'm working Sunday so I'm having a long weekend now but it does mean I don't get to see hate oh hello oh this this would be the bit where I was going to like uh, not break through and leave this as a little workshop. There we go. I'll just what was it? Maybe no, no, that wasn't. I was going to go through there. Dork. No, it's just where I broke through where I was doing the where I was doing the call. Let's have a look. Friday nights to be exact what's wrong with Friday nights so are you are you the TV show or are you being saved what hang on a minute hang, hang on it's hang on let me just have a look in chat uh, no like me not yeah Friday nights to be exact so are you like the the TV show are you being served Oh, are you being served? Yes, I remember that. Yep, 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 yep. I remember that. Are you like that now because you all sell pants? No, I'm, I'm not, like, not like that at all. No, I don't. Well, yeah, I do sell pants. Um, I can tell you some really weird stories that I've had come in now. I mean, I could tell you about the old lady who came in and asked for what what do they call it um let me think I'm trying to think what's it called i've forgotten now yeah, i do like that show as well um especially mrs slocum i mean mrs slocum's always talking about her pussy wasn't she yeah that's right and 
So I had this old lady come in and she said to me, can I have one of those hygiene stickers? You know, you know the hygiene stickers? They're like, like a, a figure eight thing. The ladies in the audience will know what I'm talking about. Um, that you can put in your pants or your knickers so that you can try them on. I said, yeah, that's fine. And it was only then that I realised this like 70, 80 year old lady had a red fong in her hand. And well, I was really hoping I was going to be out of the fitting room before she came back, to be honest. And I was. Um, so that's the sort of thing that you, you yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what have you been doing, Meg? Meg, did you put that word in chat? Which is what? 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 You've been completely timed out. Oops. What did you? Uh, did you oh my God! Right, that's the best. Did, 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 did. Sorry, I just love that shit. Did. Oh, I see you putting loads of dots, spamming symbols. Ah, oh, my game will. T my my program will tell you off. Yep, I'll get back to the mining now. But yeah. I've seen some really weird stuff coming through the fitting rooms. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to break this pickaxe before I go back and get another one. Oh, that didn't take long, did it? Right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so I, I get to do... Yeah, it's a bit like, are you being served? So I do the teals... I do exchanges, I do the fitting room stuff for people. Uh, what else do I do? I do click and collect. It's, it's, it's an amazing job. It, no, it is. I'm lucky because I've not been able to find anything else and they've given me an opportunity to do something for someone who's never worked in retail. So. I am throwing myself into it and making the best of it and trying to prove that I can lend my hand to having a go at anything. So that's quite cool. And I'm getting paid something. Halo is looking after me and she's been very kind about it all. And I feel terrible, but I can't help that because I just like fairness and everything. And yeah, it just sucks coming up to Christmas on minimum wage. It's just like poop. And I don't even have like 50 subscribers so that I can get people to like follow me and you know make donations and throw bits because I'm just so poor. No, I'm all right. I'm all good. Life is funky. Right, let's make some more of these digging things. That's one digging thing. Why have I not got enough digging things? I want another digging thing. Can I have another digging thing? Thank you. We like the digging things. I'm not sure how to build up your... I well, it would help if I streamed. That's a good one, apparently. Streaming more. Uh, doing something interesting is also good. Um, being regular, which I'm, I'm actually getting along really well with, with the whole, I'm actually doing really well at doing being regular now. Yeah, I have breakfast every morning and it contains fiber. No problems with being regular. So that's all good. Uh, I'm really not getting much in the way of iron down here, am I? How's the whole food? Can you actually eat this? Oh, you can. Oh, okay. I, I, I was successful in eating that stuff. So I did do all this digging and I've really not found very much. Okay. That's more pants than I expected. Uh, yeah, I know. You've played quite a variety of games. I mean, I actually thought doing my 24-hour stream was actually going to be quite helpful. I thought I'd get loads of new followers from doing that. That's not the reason they did it, by the way. Raising the £250 for charity was the important bit. Uh, but I did sort of expect, you know, the odd person to follow. Which, I well, got a couple. Yeah, got a couple. Not going to complain about that. 
uh, I was sort of hoping I sort of might make it past 50. And also just playing the game, sort of getting an idea of what people quite liked to see me playing. So I played, as you know, you, I played loads. Uh, and I played Subnautical when it was popular, so that was lucky. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. I mean, also being, I guess, being in Australia, that are you sort of suggesting that you don't, because there aren't American people online, then you've sort of got a bit more of a captured audience? Would that be a bit of a case? I suppose it's harder in Europe for someone like myself. I mean, streaming at this time of day, obviously I'm catching you guys towards the end of your day. And if I am able to sort of stream all day, which would be exhausting, but I would get quite a few people in. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are on at night times. So I was sort of like hoping like a Friday night might help. I mean, it might be good, might be bad. It, it might be that I just find that people have gone out for the night, so there's not many people out there to watch. Or it could be that actually get loads of people in on a Friday night with nothing better to do. I mean, I also thought that in the UK, where schools finish about half past three, four o'clock, that early evening would be really good. And I tried doing a load of pre-school run ones as well, like first thing in the morning before kids went to school and I thought kids in the UK might be like sitting on their phone looking around not many streamers about and sort of like get that but I didn't get many people come in there either do I like space games well can't you see I'm trying to be build more space um yeah I do like space games I think what I wanted to do is try and stick to a theme for my YouTube channel, which is what this is going to be for, what I'm doing here. That's why I'm playing Minecraft. I want to talk like bring this across to YouTube as well. And I do have other stuff that I stream. Some of the games that I stream though are quite long intensive. Looking at my followed categories at the moment, there are actually aren't as many viewers as I thought. Like there are only about three thousand on Minecraft. Usually they're like ten, fifteen to twenty. That's true. Yeah. The problem is, is I struggle getting above the the um, the artificial intelligent sheep, which is like my benchmark. I want to get more followers than the artificial sheep. You must have all seen it. The one that's trying to find the world border. I mean, for God's sake, if I played a game where I was like walking to the world border. Would anyone watch? Oh yeah, there is someone doing that called Kurt. I forgot that one. Um, so I'm going to chuck some names out and see what you think of games. So some of these I think are quite long play games. So things like Skyrim, Fallout 4. Um, they are games where you've got uh, Far Cry as well. I've got virtually all the Far Cries. Those are games which you would play for a very, very long time. And if you were streaming, they would be a massively consuming. So, for instance, Fallout 4, I have now played for two days and 20 hours, so nearly three days solid. Uh, that's the number of hours the game tells me that's been played for. So, yeah, they would be good in a way to stream. I think I find them a little bit tedious sometimes. They're great to play because you can sort of like, yeah, plod along um, and do some little bits and pieces, but then you have to sort of like go and sell stuff and you have to sort of like do a bit of building stuff and, you know, it can be a bit time consuming. I think games that sort of got a bit more progress are better. So I'm thinking of games like Call of Duty and uh, Splinter Cell. 
or something like Hitman, where, I mean, they're all games that I've got as well, um, but they have more of a story to them. And there's certainly things like Call of Duty, where you start at the beginning and you've got like a task or a challenge to do, like uh, Doom or Halo. They're all games that have got a, an actual progression in them. You start somewhere, you've got to get to an end target, and there's a theme or a storyline to go to. I think I may stream. I'm going to go and get try and get ready. Oh, good for you, Meg. Go for it. I might see how I get on, and I might come and watch you. I'll see how far I get with this stuff. I don't want to like get cracking on with some stuff. I might just need a little break actually. Um, I've been streaming for an hour and my throat is really dry this morning. I might come and watch you for a little bit and then I'll hop back on or something. We'll do a tag team or something. Yep, you go sort yourself out, Meg. And I will keep my eyes peeled for when you go live. I just break my pickaxe. That wasn't funny. Bye bye. Um. Yep. So, where was I at talking wise? Yes. Yeah, so there's some sort of games that got a bit more flow to them, a bit more interesting to watch. I think got a challenge to follow. I think that'd be quite good. Then again, one game that was really hilarious to play while I was um, on the stream, I played Worms, uh, Weapons of Mass Destruction. And we added it into the list because it was something I used to play when it first came out. And I thought, oh, this will be a good game to play at like 2 a.m. in the morning when I'm like really tired and I want to like rest my brain and oh my goodness the amount of stupid things I was doing and the game was making silly noises and stuff and me and Halo were just in fits of giggles watching this damn thing playing it which was actually really quite nice because it, it actually played a lot better than I thought it would for a platform game like that it was actually much more fun to stream than I thought have I ever been on the B2BT, the Minecraft server? I'm not. No, I don't know of that one. So one of the things I have wanted to do is sort of like be part of a community. But I've not found any I could really gel with. I think that was my problem. I'm right, definitely getting some iron now. That's good. And I'm not starving to death either, which is a good sign as well. I thought I might like start struggling with the whole food thing. It's going better than I thought. So what's the B2, uh, 2B2T server then? Tell me some more. I knew that was going to happen. Link might be useful. Also, uncover a bit more of the ceiling. Might be some more stuff up there. There was the server that Bex told me about. She said there was one that they play that she plays on. I guess the problem is is that I just like doing my own thing a lot of the time. I'm not a solitary person, but I like playing with people. But I like having a bit of structure as well, I think. I like knowing what my purpose is. Uh, so there's no rules. It's been open for nine years without a map reset. If you go, oh, okay. Be a pretty massive server then, I imagine. Oh dear, look, I've got all my old messages in chat. It just shows you how long it's been since I sorted this out. That was the 4th of November I did that stream. 
seriously need to go in and tidy all that up. Oh. At last, some fun. I hear a zombie. That's good. Be my first cave system to find. Oh, there's a lot of coal under here. Cave systems normally mean you stand a chance of finding more iron. Wow, there is a lot of coal here. Oh, I hear a skeleton too. Yeah, I thought the queue was about 700 people. Wow. Oh, it's crazy. I got the Hypixel server on my server list. And the amount of people in there at times is crazy. I can't I just can't imagine the the computing power they must have behind all of that. They must have some lot like distributed power. I mean I know they use like bungee to distribute I've got four torches which is not going to help me when tackling a cave so let's go and grab get rid of the stuff I don't need actually I've got to get rid of that let's just empty my inventory out pop that in there hole in there and we're going to grab the last of these sticks and make torches out of them that'll give me a good start to get going I've got that stuff there I've got a sword should I make a shield I probably should do shouldn't I I'm going in there tackling stuff. Iron. Let's get some wood. They come up with a shield. There we go. Gives me at least a little bit of protection. I can make a chest plate there as well. Oh, another advancement. Or can make some boots. Oh, look, look, looks like I'm in my underwear now with a nighty on. I always think that. It's like a four terabyte world. Wow, that's four never highways to the world border. That is insane. I just can't imagine that about stuff. There we go, so I've got suited up. Not today, thank you. Defend an arrow with a shield. Woohoo, that would be a good one. Um, oh, husbandry. We started on the, the list there. What have we got? World is full of friends and food. Well, well, I've obviously collected some food at some point. Why don't I keep track of these? Because I've never done that before. I've never, like, checked what I'm getting in the way of um, stuff. Advancements. If I stay over here, they'll spawn over there. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, cool. Thank you. I will check that out. Right, can I make a hat now? <coughs> oh, excuse me. No, you can't see my face now. Uh, seven I need. Four. Oh, let's have a look while that's doing that. Let's bring Discord up. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. I literally said something much worse than that. Just opening that up. That is nuts. Wow. That's incredible. I can see all the little tiny 
bits in it, all, uh, all the little pixel bits. That is incredible. It's going to add you as a friend on there as well. <laughs> I always forget to do that. Right, uh, right. Can I get? Oop! What's gone? Where's Where's my screen gone? Oh, uh, there we go. It's very cool. Trousers. I can't go out without your trousers on. Right, son, let's get ready. Right, let's get ready to rumble and all that. Right, let's go. Right, let's see if we can find where that cave noise is. So lava is popping to my right. Water flows, possibly ahead of me. It's probably going to break before I find it. Typical, isn't it? I could hear them zombies. Now I can't hear a thing. They're down here. I don't think it'd be this way because I would have heard them when I was digging over there. It's the first time I've heard them was when I was over here. Okay, I'll definitely have a look at that. I'll have, definitely have a look, see if I can see where they are. Find out more about them. Oh, they're typical. I was like digging all this coal out and I'm like, yeah, 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 I can hear the skeleton, hear the zombie. Now he's not making a single noise. I think maybe he was a bit higher up. I'm just try punching out this way. Ooh, iron. That do. Don't know because I'm down at like 30 oh, poop 34 35 so I'm not sure let's make a couple of them keep that out of the way where are you all Around here somewhere. Normally caves start about this high. But if I just dig out in a direction. So I'm get, getting the whole lava pops coming up in the subtitles. Should we try going down then? Okay. Let's dig down in this direction. If they're going to be anywhere, they're going to probably be off to this side of me. Because otherwise I would have heard them when digging the other tunnels. Huh. Finding some resources on the way. Maybe I'll hear them again in a minute. Link to the Fit MC on Discord. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Where is everyone? 
Where are the zombies? I know here zombies. You are out there somewhere. Absolutely silent, can't hear a thing. I can't dig with that. No, I've not got diamonds yet. I could actually be looking for them now, though, that I've actually got iron. Oh, that's lava. That was very close. I think it's actually ahead of me as well. Where there's lava, there's likely to be caves. Make that so I can get back up again. This is where I go falling straight into the lava. At least I can get the... Make a bucket of lava then. It's one of my challenges on the achievements. Yeah, I normally end up doing something like ending up down a hole and then digging the hole and letting the lava flow down on top of me. It's like, oopsie! Didn't mean to do that. Right. Definitely in my ears on that side, so... The problem is, I could be below it now. like it's more to my right I think it could actually be above me after all but when you get to this point of the game you're like just do some peepholes like this ah uh, look Lava dripping through. So it's definitely above me. Wait for that moment when you like break a block and it, the room suddenly lights up. <laughs> it's like, oh no, there's the lava. I love the way it drips down. It like proper glows, doesn't it? That's so cool. Look cool with it. Ooh, look at that. What's going on there? Oh, the block was lit up. Uh, but so we're not going to dig that way. <laughs> Let's try coming back here a bit. Go up about four blocks. One, two. Four. Right, let's try about here. My knowledge of uh, how normally these lava lakes are laid out. Why is that lit up? No, oh, that's me. There it is. Yeah, they're never that deep. Yep, no worries. Have fun and enjoy yourself. Thank you for coming by. Oops. Broke another one. this one thank you 
I'm not that desperate for coal. I will come back here and get an iron bucket though. Because that definitely will be worth getting. At least I know where I can find some lava now anyway. That'd be good for making some obsidian. Okay, so we get some more iron in there and let's have... I normally have three buckets. Two be water and one with lava. So this will do me nicely. So one of those can be lava, and those will be water in a bit. Have a bit of the nice juicy kelp. Kelp's actually lasted me a really long time. Been surprised by that. Right, let's go down and get this bucket of lava and that'll give me another achievement. I'll leave that there. It wasn't down there, was it? It was up here. There we go. Woohoo! Hot stuff! Very useful weapon. Let's have a look at my achievements. Where are we? So we've got the hot stuff. So the next thing is the ice bucket challenge where we actually make um, obsidian and then we can do flint and steel, which we should have, and then we should be able to get into the nether as well, then as well, as well, as well, as well, which is pretty cool. That's good. Right now. So what level am I at here? Let's have a look at F3. We are down at 12. This is perfect diamond level. So this bit here where I came down should be <coughs> where I should be able to start finding diamonds. So if I just dig this down a little bit, and I might do it from here. So I'm going to do a four. Let's see if I can just branch out and find some diamonds. There's lava up there. Lapis. Score. That's definitely a nice win. Close to the old lava lake up there. Hopefully, it doesn't get any deeper along there. Digging exactly one block underneath a lava lake. That is such a good idea. Come on, diamonds. What do I need? I need three diamonds so I can dig up. I need five diamonds, ideally. That would be really good going. Right, that lava's quite quiet now. Dig a few more and then we're going to do some poke holes. Right, let's go back to here and we're going to try poke holes out to the side. Let's go fill that in, so. Uh, right, should we do these every two, don't we?
Gotta be some diamonds around here somewhere. Wish you could have something where you could like, uh, like tap, like you do in. Um, what's that version of mine? Minecraft, you can do that in. Terra Firma Craft, that's it, we're going to like Prospector's Pick. You can use that to sort of help you find where materials are. Although this iron is really good. I'm liking this. good chance that doing this means I'm just going to uncover diamonds in the su at the same time. You never know, there might be next to something down here. Stash. Absolutely perfect. Liking that. Some more holes out. See if we can find any more. some diamonds. Come back for that coal in a minute that I saw. Getting a bit peckish as well. Probably be ideal go and watch uh, Meg. Oh a bit of redstone. really necessity at the moment but could be good for making compasses gold would be nice for a clock so I know what time it is pickaxe is going to break on me don't have a spare one oh, that's that broken Let's go and sort out another pickaxe. He was in there, to my right. And skeletons. Uh. They might be above me. He might have been right. Right, so let's have a look what we got. So we've got some more iron we can brew up. And we've got much more wood. That'll do. So we'll make an absolute load of torches to start with. There we go. And then we'll grab some iron and we'll make some of these that's perfect and we'll keep this stuff back make that safe like that excellent should we see if we can find them again so i came down here and i thought i could hear them over really loud uh. 
here somewhere. Could they literally be above me? hear them again now but they were like really close when I was standing here it's to my right Here somewhere. Obviously not up there. They must be below me. Got to be. Well, they're not above me, so they've got to be down here. So let's try going this way. Oh, that was a lot louder. He's like right in my ear. He's a chicken jockey. Uh... Where are you? Uh... There's loads of them as well. think they're following me through the wall and like I'm underneath a cave or something. find them it's gonna be like so annoying I was so close to them I couldn't see work out where it was coming from Chickens loud around here, but I can't find out where they're coming from. Oh, it's so annoying. Chicken noise is so loud. here somewhere well like I'm like literally bored 
are one or two blocks away. They're just so loud. Could be above me. It's gone quiet now. look at this on a map there are probably like punching holes absolutely everywhere in the wrong direction good way of collecting cobble anyway so I'm definitely going around in circles here not above and they're not below me right I'm just going to ignore you then Really? Uh, uh. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Found you and your little friend. Come here. Yes. Ha ha ha. That's my kilt eaten. Where's Mr. Skelly Feet? Got this quite bright in there, isn't it? Got lava in there or something? Thank you. It's got me another achievement. And you're now dead. Oh, mine shafts. Even better. Oh, um, I have no idea how far my way down here. I'm going to get completely lost coming back out again. Gold. Ah, oh, splendid. Right, now, where did we dig? We dig up from there. Up there. Up here. I think this was the exit, yeah. Oh, that worked out really well. Oh, that's nice and close. That's not too bad. We've got feathers, chicken. Quite a bit of raw materials there. Even got a bone now. Oh, definitely going to raid this lot down here. Um, that bit of chicken is going to go in there. Well, it's quite an expensive thing to cook up, but I'm going to need that. All right, I'm going to save that till I need it. All right, we're going to get creepers and skeletons and all sorts down here. Yep, so we just take these turns down here. If I only could find my way back into the damn thing.
Right, so did I decide it wasn't that way? Nope, I'm going around in circles. Not up there, it's not. I'm a dork. Now I've got myself completely lost. Right, let's go and get some earth. And lock up some of these holes that are completely irrelevant to where I was going. Because I don't want to go out that way. Yeah, there we go. Right. Let's grab some earth because earth is a nice and easy material to use. Eat this chicken. Keep me going for a while. Right, so where isn't it? It's not that way. And it wasn't up here. Correct. Not up there, not up there. Not down there, I can see that, and it's not down there. Not that way. It's not in there. It's not in here. So if it's not down there, then it's not in there either. It's not down there. This take me around in a circle. I seriously lost my way into it again. Oh my god. Okay, this is ridiculous. How can I lose my way into the damn thing? I know it's above me. There's definitely nothing in there. Well, it was up above me. Where to go?
Like, I know it's up there somewhere. What? I did all these. Didn't I? Definitely not down there. Definitely not down there. How the hell did I lose a tunnel? Because I thought I went with the whole, ah, I can't be bothered to find you now, so I'm just going to go in a different direction. I went down that one. I'm sure of it. I can't believe I'm so blooming lost. Oh my God. This is absolutely crazy. So I think I'm going to stop here because I'm just coming up to two hours and I did say I was going to chuck a raid over to Meg who I believe is now streaming. Let's have a look. I definitely saw a message go up. There we go. I can see her coming on with the coming up soon stream. So I am now going to sort out chucking a raid over there. So we can join the lovely Meg and see what she's doing in chat. So I have a raid command here somewhere and I've not, I've actually not done this before. Does anyone know how to do a raid? Um, where's it gone? Is that a button? Do 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 do. I know what I'm doing, honestly. Live actions. There we go. It's in here, isn't it? No. Where's it gone? Why it no no show up? No showing up. They've lost the damn thing. It's gone and disappeared on me. It's over here somewhere. La 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 la. Here we go. Oh, why can't I turn that on? Why can't I turn raid assist on? Oh, that's pansy. I thought I could do that. Well, that's that's a bit weird. It won't let me do that from there. Right, uh, let's go into my dashboard then. I'm pretty certain I can do it from here. No, I don't want early access things. Yeah, I know that how that all works. Thanks very much. You're fantastic. Uh, really, I would have thought they would have made like the whole, you know, you know, raiding thing easy. Why can't you see it anywhere? Well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? 
dashboard, commands, really, really, why so, why hide the buttons, why they make this so hard, that's stupid, it can't be that hard to find, edit your stream, chat settings no no just like i'm gonna have to like what google it how to do a raid it's a good job no one was watching because be like what is this guy doing ah stream labs how to raid come on it can't be that blooming hard Can you literally just type raid? Type raid by the follow followed by the name of the channel you want to raid. Really? Is that it? Is that all you have to do? If I just type raid. Oh yeah. Send my viewers to another channel. I didn't know you could do that. Mega Rua. It's working with one viewer. I'm now raiding you. Goodbye, everyone. I'll be back later.